Well, this Veterans Day, people all across the country are gathering at parades, events, and of course celebrations to honor those who served in our nation's military. Annie Rose Ramos is in Baltimore County for a Veterans Day memorial. Veterans Day here at Holly Hills Memorial Garden means shining a light on the many names you see behind me. For those at this Veterans Day ceremony, these aren't just names etched in stone. Jack was my best friend. He was on the U.S. S. Newport News. I miss that guy. That's him a lot. They're neighbors, best friends, husbands, and wives. For Ken Love from high school. You went to high school with Ken? Yes. Bonnie's right here. He was a, a young man that I was raised with in our same neighborhood. Great, great memories. This morning ceremony honoring members from the Army, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, and Air Force. May each of our veterans feel honored, not just today, but every day. The event was organized by Army veteran Keith Roberts. The young people today don't understand what it means to be a veteran. The sacrifices that we, you know, went through, uh, and it's important to teach them that. That's why I'm here. Others came to honor fallen soldiers. Millie Reichert lost her husband just one week ago. He served in the Navy. Because of the, he was a veteran and this was a veteran service, I wanted to be here to, to be, you know, with him and, and to honor him and honor all the veterans. Baltimore County Executive Johnny Oshesky says it's critical to remember the lives and deaths of our servicemen. Every name is a story, right? And I want everyone here to know, and anyone watching to know that we remember the service of our men and women. We always will remember. Veterans here today say they hope that people can take just one moment out of their lives today to remember those who once wore a uniform. From Baltimore County, I'm Annie Rose Ramos from WJZ.